We finally have an update from the USTC Repeg team, and that's what we're going to be going over in this video today. Now, I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but it has already been seven days since the USTC Repeg proposal has passed. Seven days since the community was on a split vote to, yes, fund the USTC algorithm quant team, whatever you're calling it, so that they can go out there, communicate with Binance and other major exchanges, and do their theory theoretical math to convince these major exchanges it is a good idea to repeg USTC. This has been, it was submitted 14 days ago. The community was divided over it and it was a $20,000 per month spend. And in two weeks, we're going to be seeing a proposal again to continue this on. So it is very important that we go through knowing that it was a 51% yes vote, 42% no vote, 6% abstaining vote. It's very important that we get these updates and we understand what the, the algorithm team or quant team is doing because we're going to be faced with another $20,000 $20, proposal here very shortly. Let's discuss it, what it means for Terra Luna Classic, and of course, if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you guys are brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks. If you guys want cryptocurrency exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that and stuff you've got kucoin and binance down there now kucoin and binance they offer rewards for the more active traders so the more you trade the more you're going to earn but please be aware if you guys are holding on those exchanges it's going to be considered a loan to those exchanges so if you want to mitigate that risk and make it your asset you need to look at a cold storage or DeFi wallet now guys we're going to jump right into this because this is a long update we may need two two videos to cover the whole thing but we're going to go through it and see what we got so far. This is the forward, and it is USTC Team Weekly Update Number 1. So they're going to be coming out with weekly updates. They're going to present us with four, I guess, $5,000 updates because if there's only four updates and you split that twenty thousand dollars per update it costs us five thousand dollars per update guys it says forward with the passing of proposal 11 597 and the subsequent formation of the USTC team we've spent a good amount of time informally discussing amongst ourselves how we are going to put our best foot forward for the community and set a new standard for teams that are going to be working on the Terra Luna Classic blockchain awesome I don't know what that standard's going to be, but they might. These are the standards we hold to ourselves in our individual professional lives, and it is the standards that we will be holding ourselves to and contributing to the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. You better. I mean, my gosh, we are paying you, and we're probably paying you more than you... Never mind, I'm not going to get into salaries. So value, we aim to provide value to the Terra Luna Classic blockchain and in its community in multiples of what the USTC team is being compensated. I would love to see $100,000 a month uh, wealth being generated for Terra Luna Classic knowing we're spending the $20,000 per month right now. Transparency. We will not be working on this roadmap in a silo. We are in, not interested in trying to dictate solutions to the community against their will and much prefer, much more prefer to be a collaborative approach that brings the community along and in the problem-solving process of the USTC repeg with us. Excellent, man. That's all we ask for is a little bit of transparency, not just once a week, but in order to do that, they're opening up a thread on Commonwealth, and they're opening up a GitHub that if you guys are developers or want to pay, participate in that, you guys can go look at that discussion out on GitHub or join the discussion on Commonwealth right now. So that's where it says all that. I'm going to skip all that stuff. So we can get down to the update here. Alex, the uh, Luna Foundation Guard assets and the Luna Foundation Guard board. Now, this is a very long one here. I'm not going to spend the entire time reading this, but there's basically 25 to $50 million locked up right now with the Luna Foundation Guard. So they do have a little bit of a summary down here. So it does say, if the community nominates a new board of credible individuals, the current board can vote to relinquish their seats to the new nominees, and those nominees can administer those assets according to legal constraints. 
the total of which would be $45 million. Now, I, I know you guys remember Alex and his pursuit of this just multi-million dollar wallet over the last year. It has not come to fruition yet, but he is not giving up. That is the work that has been done so far over the last week by Alex is just bringing all the previous work that he has done, work that he has done, finding these wallets and so on. I'm going to tell you right now, Doquan, here's these guys. The current Luna Foundation guard board consists of Doquan, Pladius, Kanav, Jose, and Remy. All are facing very divergent legal incentives and are under heavy legal pressure. These guys are not going to give up their seats on the board and relinquish their rights to a $45 million wallet. Let me ask you, would you give up your rights to a $45 million wallet? No, you would not do so. These guys are not going to do so. We're not just going to have a $45 million wallet handed to us, but that's the work that Alex is bringing. Bilbo right now onboarded with the Terra Algo backtest tooling. So he had some backtest tooling that he created in Python, and, and that is what he has done so far. He's completed various administrative uh, related to setting up the USTC team. So he helped find some friends that wanted to join this USTC team. He's in the initial, initial stages of developing a reserve pools concept to serve as a complementary buy pressure mechanism. And more information on reverse uh, reserve pools sorry, will be released in future posts. So he's working on reserve pools. F uh, Faffy. Initial release of the Terra, Terra Algo backtest, a Python backtesting engine for USTC and Terra stables. Added the ability to replay custom algorithms in the Terra Algo backtest. He has, he's in the initial stages of developing a specification for proposal 11487 algorithm, Redline Drifter's tax proposal. The 11487 algorithm work is focused on decentralized exchanges to start. Primary goal is to properly implement the 11487 divergent algorithm, identify potential issues, and reformulate strategies to address them. One issue that has been identified is the arbitraging of pools. As it currently stands, the divergent tax will reduce the arbitrage of pools and create a mismatch between the decentralized exchange price and centralized exchange prices. Okay. And then Kaijack, onboarded with the Tarot Algo backtest tooling, started work on specifications and definitions of the diver divergent tax algorithm, implemented generation of random price patterns for use in the backtesting, and he's working on gathering real-world data from the, the crash, what the prices were during the crash, so they can simulate this and, and test it from there. Redline Drifter so far is that a kid. It's also been on some calls with some centralized exchanges. <laughs> so uh, I, I do hope that you know, like this is the update and, and crucially or, or ex like extremely critically, they have not done anything so far. This is what they had when they were nominated and, and brought in as this team member and, and as this algorithm or quant team. Look, I understand nobody gets anything done in the first week. But we are, literally, Terra Luna Classic is a ticking time bomb right now. We cannot continue to spend frivolously as the community pool drains and as the price of Terra Luna Classic continues to remain stagnant or even possibly lower. So far, you guys may not realize this, we are spending $600 and nearly $70 per day on this algorithm team, on this quant team. $670 worth of Terra Luna Classic per day. So far, we have spent $5,000 on this algorithm team. And, and I'm not going to sit here and say that we haven't seen anything done yet. We've got the formation of a team. These guys seem to have a plan together. But it's, where it's leading is another month, and then another month, and then another month. And, and this could potentially be dragged out who knows how long. I just I, I find it absolutely critical that we get some work done and the community can make a decision as to whether or not to continue this work or early enough to scrap it that we can get by with a few dollars left in the community pool. So the update is here. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is it worth the money so far? $5,000 of that $20,000 has essentially been spent. 
but all of it's out of the community pool. So let me know if you guys think it's worth it so far, and if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin and Binance, free Discord, and until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.